Hey guys, so I thought I would pop on and record. I was getting ready to change uh, Jonah's clothes. And I was like, you know, I should record, record it. I don't do many changing videos and sometimes it's because it's, it gets kind of awkward, you know, um, trying to be in the, you know, trying to be where you can see and I'm comfortable. Um, this, this, uh, crib, I purposely, you know, did it more like a day bed so I can have more easier access to my babies for photographs and I guess now I'm actually using it for changing but I, that wasn't my intention but it makes it a little bit easier however I do I do uh, get on my knees and kneel down when I'm changing or, you know, showing you the babies in this particular bed. Um, the other crib is a little bit higher up and of course it has the bars. So, well, the other two cribs are like that. So, this one gives me a little bit more, um, ability to get I'm ready I love using shoes that just slides off let's see what size this is so I can tell you guys this is a size one shoe and it fits them really well that's the other thing I love about this sculpt too is that the feet are really good size they're not too big for him they're not too small but he can actually fit you know regular newborn shoes I I find it a little challenging when you have a baby that can't fit um, any shoes, even though I don't put my babies on shoes often. You know, it's just like me with pacifiers. That's something that people don't understand. A lot of people be like, well, why do you have to have a pacifier uh, for the babies and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, it's not that you see me jamming a pacifier in my mouth every chance I get. But if I want to, I like having that option. I don't want to not be able to, you know, um, give them a pacifier. You know what? This, this light, my lighting over me has yellow, a yellow pass. And I think it makes him look more orangey because he's not. But just so you guys can see, see when I turn the light off, this shows more of his natural color. And when I turn that light on, I'll show you guys. Because my, my regular lights are white, daylight. So give you more natural light look. But watch when I turn this light on. He seems orangey to me. Um, I'm going to turn the light off because it, it bothers me. I don't like to see my babies look orangey because uh, I don't like it because <laughs> that's not how I paint them. So anyway, you guys might not make a big difference. Maybe I'll turn it on. Maybe I'll turn it on for you guys. But just so you guys know, he is not orange. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, as I was deciding, like, oh, I want to change him today, I was thinking about the fact that I haven't really posted. Well, I have been posting every now and then, but I haven't been doing it, like, back-to-back. -back. My um, Haley baby. And I thought about, maybe I should put it on eBay. But sometimes with my babies, I like to be able to kind of con have a little bit more control over the sale. Um, and eBay doesn't give me that because eBay 
you know, they're set up different and you don't know who you're selling to until it's sold. Um, so, I haven't went that route yet, but that, uh, I'm really, I've made up my mind that I want to sell that baby. And that's the thing. Once I make up my mind that I want to sell a baby, for the most part, I just don't usually go back to keeping it. I just haven't been, I haven't had the time to really push it. Um, I paid more for him because the rates are different between the UK and the US. And so, um, and they change daily. And by the time I decided she was done and ready for payment and I was, um, I paid the rates that went up. So I ended up paying quite a bit for that baby. Um, which I think that's pretty average for her prices. Uh, they went up a little bit higher now, which rightfully so. It's been, I think, a year and a lot of changed over that this time. Um, but I'm not going to lower his price below where it's at. And I think it says 1700 shipped in the U.S. Not this baby, guys. I'm talking about my half pint uh, vinyl baby that... I need to sell um, this baby isn't for sale at this moment when he does go up for sale he has a bit of interest in him I don't know if you if I like these socks for you. And this, these straps are so long. Why are they so long? Let me see. Yeah, that's the way they are. Okay, maybe. I don't know why they are so long. Usually they get it right. But the straps are extremely long <laughs> because for the size of this and obviously the hair that you see me brushing off like strands of hair it's from when I sit a baby here that I've am in the process of rooting or something and I want to take a quick you know work in progress picture or something like that that's why I don't bring them in here that often like that because I seem to never get every strand of hair off of my things and but the good thing is it's not really like clinging to him it was just on the cover. It was on the cover and that drive me insane. But anyway, we'll see. I don't think I like these socks, but I don't have time to go look for a different pair. But I probably will switch them out. And honestly, in all action, oh, if I be honest, I would probably put him on these shoes without socks. But... Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's through -ba -ba. I don't know if you guys can which fats can see. I have some I think I have some specific shoes for this actual outfit that I bought to go with this outfit. But I couldn't use it because the last baby that I bought it for, feet weren't big enough. But his would be big enough because he got some little fat feet. 
Oh, and it looks so forceful when I look at it. He's so soft. It's like you got to squish their little foot in. And this is why I don't put my, my dolls on shoes. Silicone especially. Because look at this. It's like you're... I don't like it. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot do it. Um, I could probably do it off camera and with... Oh, here. That's another sock. I can... Do it with a sock, maybe. I don't want to untie because it, it's it's stretchy, and it's stretchy. But because his foot is not firm, like a regular foot would be, a real foot would be, it's very soft. Um, you have to kind of almost like squish it in the shoe. Anyway, so I don't like the way that look. Because that is still his foot. His foot is going at an angle like this. So, but they would actually fit, as you can see, very well. So, I'm just going to take his socks off. And I have sandals. And I will probably put him on sandals instead. And I need to find him a hat, but not the hat that's here. It doesn't really match, but I guess I could put it on him since it's right here. Well, oh, I just put my hat box up. I was going to say I have a blue hat right here, but I forgot to put blue hat box up. Oh, no, this is a little hat. Is this a preemie? Yeah, this is a premium hat. It's so up to five pounds. So, anyway, that's it. That's this is what he is going to be wearing. It's so self. Oh my gosh! I don't really like this outfit on him. I'm gonna take it off. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't like it on him. I I won't be able to find him something different to put on while y'all are on the camera. But I'm not going to even pretend that he's going to keep this on. I do like the onesie on him, though. Say, okay, Scoopa. The onesie look cute on you. But can't wear the onesie without the outfit because then my outfits will be mixed up off. I need to hang it all back up together. So, yep, this outfit did not work out, guys. Sorry. I know you guys do this, too. I know every collector must do this. We put them on an outfit. The outfit is really cute. We think it's going to work really cute on the baby. Either the color don't look good on them or the outfit itself don't fit good on them. I don't necessarily like the color or the fit on him. I don't think it does a whole lot for him. I haven't decided what colors I like best on him. I want to say I do like white on him, but I like more vibrant colors um on him so I may have to shop different for him because I don't have a lot of vibrant colors because I'm always afraid of the dye transfer um early on I was told that that doesn't happen with silicone but I witnessed it for myself they can stain the silicone, the strong dyes like reds and blues and stuff like that. But I was able to wipe mine off with alcohol because I caught it right when it, right when I, as it was. I don't know if it had sit there for weeks, if it would have stayed or if it would have wiped off still with the alcohol. 
vinyl, you can't really use alcohol to wipe them down because you take off the paint. Well, you can take off the paint with silicone too, depending on if, it, if it's cured all the way. If it's not cured properly, the paint will come off with alcohol too. Um, but with vinyl, even if it's cured property, properly and you use alcohol, it could take off the paint. And that's the thing with a lot of people, they go, oh, let me do hand sanitizer and pick up the dolls. And, you know, I don't think that's a good idea, especially when you guys are going to the doll show, FYI. Try not to put alcohol on your hands and then pick up someone doll immediately. Let it dry out at least really good before you do that because you could possibly <laughs> mess up their dolls. And that diaper is a little, it's got something weird going on there, but ugh, this, this color looks horrible in this light. Yeah. All right, guys, I am going to, let's see. Right, but he this he is reddish. He does have a reddish tone, but it's not orange, and I don't like the way his his color is coming across right now. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.